never delete images off a memory card. Just reformat. Here's why. Welcome to the Visual Center. I'm Trent. And in this video, we're going to talk all about formatting memory cards. What it is, why we do it, what happens during formatting, and stick around to the end of this video to see how it's done. Now, if you have a second, please click the thumbs up icon just below this video. This will help the Visual Center to grow by being more visible on YouTube. Thank you. So what do I mean by formatting a memory card? Obviously, I'm referring specifically to digital photography, since our images are stored or recorded on a memory card. Now, maybe I should try to invent reformatable photographic film. I, I'd buy it. But anyways, since we're recording our images to a memory card, it serves a pretty important function in our photographic process. It's critical that these little pieces of plastic, metal, and silicon work properly. Now, after we insert a memory card into our cameras, there is a format memory card option somewhere on or within the camera body. Formatting a memory card is like creating an agreement between our camera and memory card. They'll work, they'll work together much better if this agreement is in place. Now, sometimes they won't work together at all until this agreement is in place. Now, when we reformat a card, we're deleting the old folder structure on the memory card from its last use and creating a new folder structure which is specific to the camera we're using to reformat. This help creates a much more efficient relationship between the camera and the card. Now, because of this, if your card or camera is a bit sluggish, reformatting may help. Once we format the memory card, the old images will no longer be visible. The images are usually not deleted, at least not yet. As I already mentioned, the folder structure is refreshed and ready for new images. These new images will overwrite the photos found on the card prior to reformatting or override the images from our last shoot. If we fill up the entire memory card after reformatting, then the old images are deleted and gone forever. They're overwritten with new images. This process of reformatting is the best way to delete images from our memory cards. If we just use the trash icon or a delete option to delete the images, Traces of data from old deleted images can be left on our memory card. This old data can degrade the card's efficiency and even stop the card from working properly. Now reformatting will allow our camera to overwrite all of the old data on the card. This helped prevent the card from being corrupted. Now I've experienced and also witnessed many tragic situations when a memory card stopped functioning the way it was intended. Often this is referred to as a corrupt card or card corruption. It's a very frustrating experience. And when a card is corrupted or the files on a card are corrupted, they do not perform as they should. Image review on the back of our cameras becomes impossible. Copying or transferring the images from the card to another device doesn't work. And I've even seen the rare case of images being completely erased from a memory card. Now, trying to prevent these horrible situations is the reason a lot of photographers prefer to shoot with a camera which contains two memory cards, one serving as a backup of the other. Anyways, corrupting a card is a horrible experience to go through, especially when shooting. There are some recovery solutions, but these often require time, energy, and money. And there's also no guarantee that image recovery will be even possible. This is what a partially recovered image looks like. Now, I'm actually interested whether you have ever had any experiences with a corrupt memory card. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your story. Luckily, there are a few things we can do to help prevent corruption from happening to our cards and to our images. One of the best things is to reformat our memory cards. So, when should we reformat? Honestly, I would recommend that you do it as often as needed. From my experience, I've never witnessed any negative outcomes from reformatting the memory card too much. But 
I have seen loads of negative outcomes from not doing it enough. After we finish a shoot, we'll very likely transfer our images from our memory card to another device in order to start editing the images. After this transfer, we now have a couple of options. First, we could reinsert our memory card in back into the camera body and just reformat immediately. A second, we could wait until we need to shoot again, reformatting the card the night before, the morning of, or just prior to firing the first image of the next day. Now, I tend to wait to reformat just prior to my next shoot. If I leave the images on my card, they can just act as a last resort backup. Now, don't get me wrong, I create three backups of all my images after each shoot, but these unformatted memory cards are an additional fourth backup. Now, how to backup images is something we'll go over in a future video, and it's pretty important. So be sure to subscribe so you won't miss it. I would also recommend reformatting any new memory card we purchase. Sometimes we can't even use a card until it's formatted by our camera. One of the biggest culprits to card corruption is shooting on a memory card in one camera and then moving that same card to a second camera and starting to shoot without reformatting. I've lost count of how many times I've seen students and even professionals make this mistake. If you have a second camera, even if it's the same brand and model, chances are that using a single memory card on both bodies without reformatting will someday lead to a corrupt card. So I always recommend reformatting in this situation. Okay, so it's pretty important, but how do we do it? First, two warnings. Be sure to transfer and back up the images from a memory card prior to reformatting. If you don't, the images may be lost forever. Second, do not remove the memory card or power down the camera during the formatting process. I can't even think of a situation where you would need to do this. This may damage the memory card. All right, the process of formatting a memory card is pretty simple, no matter if you're shooting on a Canon, Fuji, Nikon, or Sony camera. The format menu path on all brands is also pretty similar. The path is basically menu, then setup tab or menu, the little wrench or spanner icon in the menu, and then go to format or format memory card. Once we're there, we'll then see a warning about formatting and erasing all our images. Select OK or Yes. Now, Sony did update their menu a while ago. I believe the format option is now listed under Shooting and then Media. Now, some cameras, specifically Fuji and Nikon bodies, also provide an external format button combination shortcut. If you're using a Nikon camera, simultaneously press and hold the buttons next to these icons. This will reformat the memory card. Now for Fuji shooters, you can press and hold the delete button and then press in on the rear command dial or scroll wheel. This should also reformat the memory card. As always, be sure to check your user manual for a full set of instructions for your specific camera. Or feel free to ask for help in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you. Okay, so that's it. Formatting our memory cards is an important step to take in order to ensure that they function properly. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.